Cover and halo. Do you know why they did that? Because yeah, I know what? Hey, look, I'm a bazooka. I freaking farted. Fish, fish sticks is in <gasps> What? The rockets oh, blew up behind that. me. Yeah. What's it's going on with the rockets there. tonight? Dude, please. You can betray What? Did I betray you, Hayden? I don't know who to, but someone What? I saw that. Like, I'm not What? It's like, how'd that happen? What? So the video I originally wanted to make here, guys, is a tips and trick video to how to get better at Halo 2 instantly kind of stuff, you know, like we did in the last few games. Because uh, Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary certainly have their own quirks when it comes to their gameplay. But I feel like I can't make that video without addressing the big elephant that's in the room right now. And that is the current state of Halo 2 Classic multiplayer. Because right now, Halo 2 Classic is rather unplayable. Uh, I've been, I'm sure you've been seeing plenty of clips and stuff kind of going around the internet right now, guys. And so what I want to do is kind of go into my thoughts and experience of this. It's kind of confirmed my worries going into it. So if you guys like these kind of commentary videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's know you want to see some more content like this. And let's get right into the content here. So last night, I went live on Twitch because I was excited to play some Halo 2 classic and Halo 2 anniversary and uh, get a chance to stream and hang out with you guys play some games which it was a fun stream I had a great time playing uh, but there are some glaring issues with Halo 2 classic that I'm very surprised that they got in here which is very odd because I played the heck out of that flight and I did not experience any of these issues whatsoever some so something between the build of the flight and the build that was released something weird happened and just got completely messed up you can see these gameplay clips are actually from single halo clips this most recent video showcasing a lot of the bugs and issues people are having uh, if you guys want to go check them out please do there are like a twitch highlight compilation kind of video they do great content over there link in the description down below and check them out on twitter as you can see on the screen right now but you can to give you some visual confirmation of what we're actually having to deal with right now in the moment playing halo 2 classic that it's a bit of a mess Bullet registration is very inconsistent. Uh, I experienced this multiple times where the rocket launcher would just shoot and it would register that shot, but it just nothing happened. And uh, like the beginning clip that you saw guys of this video, I even had it one time where I sh tried shooting a guy in front of me, but the rocket shot from behind me and killed my teammate and me instead. Like what? I wasn't experiencing anything of that nature in the flighting process. Trust me, I would have mentioned it. Now apparently working in the Halo 2 engine is a bit of a mess. A YouTuber by the name of Inferno Plus who does a lot of modding content on his channel did a game mode in Halo 2 where basically he wanted to replicate this game called Tribes, which is a game from the 2010s, uh, using a lot of momentum and had to create their own map, had to create their own physics for it. And he mentions this about working with the Halo 2 engine. And as one final note, if there was anything to take away from this week of suffering I went through, it's that the developers for Halo 2 were insane. This game engine is held together by duct tape and popsicle sticks. Its workflow is just absurd. I don't know how they used this SDK to get anything done. It is an absolute miracle that Halo 2 even works at all. And if you guys know anything about the development of Halo 2, basically it was a total mess. Up until E3 of 2004, the game wasn't ready or had anything done for it mainly. The game was mainly put together in the last like six months before the release. That was the, all of Halo 2. So it's crazy that uh, we got such a good game for Halo 2 while uh, being such a hellish development cycle. Obviously, plenty of bugs made it through Halo 2's release and there was really not much you could do about it. But hey, you know, it, it still ended up being a fun game. You know, you still actually had shots register and not, you know, rockets flying behind you and killing you from behind. So something like that. But this kind of just shows you guys that like working with the Halo 2 engine in particular can be a bit of a mess. Changing one aspect of the game could possibly Possibly change some other aspect you cannot you could have predicted affecting it and uh, I don't I mean honestly though I don't see how uh, you could play the Halo 2 classic and just you know test it we you know they went through multiple testing rings they I'm sure played it themselves and they didn't experience any of this obviously when you release the game out to the wild that's when you really see how things play out so there's there's only so much internal testing you can do and so many variables you can test for in-house now we did get a response from 343's community manager sketch 
responding to the current frustrations and what they're planning to do about this issue. We understand some players are encountering issues and oddities with MCC on Xbox or PC following last night's update. We are monitoring and tracking as we can and getting this info to the right folks for further investigation. Please check known issues first and if your issue isn't covered, please submit a ticket so we can get more details and help the team investigate. We don't want anyone having a bad experience or encountering problems, but some of these things we are hearing are hard to pin down. We'll take some time. Yelling at or insulting members of our team isn't going to help. People work hard under extra challenging circumstances to deliver the best experience they can, and they are committed to continuing to work to resolve issues that arise. Thanks for your support and to those who are providing helpful details and issue reports, and to everyone who's enjoying the game and not having issues. Good luck, have fun. Another very important thing to touch on that Sketch did politely ask is saying there's no need to yell at people doing this. Obviously, this is not intended. Yeah, but there's no need to say they're incompetent, idiots, morons. You know, I've seen some pretty mean things on Twitter, and that's not gonna help anything besides you just maybe getting a few more clicks. Now, apparently these issues have also carried over to Halo 3 and some other parts of Halo as well. I've seen like people just queuing up for Halo 3 Slayer and getting Griff Ball instead. Like it's just, it's a bit of a mess right now. Though my experience playing Halo 2 Anniversary, it's solid, pretty much exactly as I would expect it to be. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Halo 2 Classic, again, is a bit of a mess, kind of unplayable at the moment on PC. I've heard some issues going on with Halo 3, so a lot of things kind of going on, and the team's currently investigating it. You know, as soon as we know more about this, I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel, so make sure you subscribe, keep yourselves up to date there. As for me, I'm going to still keep playing the game because I'm still having fun. Definitely probably focus on uh, Reach and also uh, Halo 2 Anniversary right now as, you know, currently the game's going to be populated, so I'm going to be jumping in and playing a bunch of ranked modes, so hopefully enjoy that more. Check out my Twitch channel if you want to follow me, follow me there and get some games in. If you'd like to see some tips and trick videos, leave it in the comments section down below, guys, and I'll try to put one together for you as well if you'd like to see that. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Check out the videos on the screen right over here if you miss any content from me. And I'd like to catch you all in the next video. Peace out.